And hello YouTube, this is JS Man Smart, and I'm here with a brand new video for Gaming with JS, and today we're here on Guild Wars 2 taking a look at another easy gold trick, I believe this is number 23, I'm pretty sure, in our 2.0 series, and today we're going to take a look at Amalgamated Gemstones. Now as you can see, I do have uh, some new Christmas colors, I also have the Frost Forged Staff skin. I will be giving one of these weapons away in a giveaway coming very soon. Love this staff, it looks really awesome. But let's go ahead and jump right into the gold trick. Today we're going to be using a tool called GW2 Shinies. We have used this tool in previous gold guides. Uh, all the links to the tools I'll be using are in the description below. So check the description if you want to take a look at the sites that I'm using. So on GW2 Shinies, we have a new tool that has been added in the experimental section called Amalgamation. Now if you head on over there, you'll see... Uh, several different orbs, several different uh, gems and different stones that you can combine in the Mystic Forge to make amalgamated gemstones. Now if you head over to the wiki, amalgamated gemstones are these really rare things that you get at the end of Arc Basin. That's where I tend to get them after an Arc Basin run. Some of the chests you get these and they sell for 1 gold and 45 silver. These are sort of like the black diamonds that you would get. Uh, when Arc Basin first came out, Black Diamonds were really expensive, and these were even more expensive. Uh, black Diamonds have reduced in cost, though, and these are now the new super expensive gemstone you can get. But there isn't, it isn't just through the new Heart of Thorns maps that you can get these. You can also get these through the Mystic Forge and through crafting. Uh, why do people want these? Well, mainly because they are used for precursor crafting. As you can see here, it's used to make the Eternal Sands Focus and to make Polish, which is used in Precursor Crafting. So people want this stuff. A lot of people want to make a Legendary, or a lot of people want to try at least to make a Legendary. So this is an item that they're going to need, and they're going to need a pretty good amount of it. As you can see, 20 is required for this one, 1 is required, 1 is required, so these are uh, needed. At the bottom here, you can also see, this is GW2 BLTC, which tells you the supply and demand. You can see that supply and demand uh, is staying, it, it's going up, it's going down. We see the prices drop a bit, and we see them go up a bit. So people are buying this. If people aren't buying things, you usually just see a straight line in the prices here. But the prices are going up and going down. So we are seeing activity. Now there are two ways to craft this item. You can either uh, buy a set of three stacks of three crests, orbs of doubloons, as you see here. Or you can buy a stack of 25, I believe, three stacks of 25 crests, orbs, and doubloons, which will produce 10 amalgamated gemstones. Now, from my experimentation, you get more of your money worth by actually buying a stack of three for 25 crests, orbs, and doubloons, and um, you get a little, a little less by buying three stacks, but you can try it out with three, and if you see that it's working, then you're good to go. Uh, if not, you will have to use 5 ectoplasms and 3 stacks of 25 crests, orbs, or doubloons. And what do, I mean by, what do I mean by 3 stacks of crests, orbs, or doubloons? Well, at the bottom here, it tells you uh, which items you'll need to actually craft this in the Mystic Forge. Here you see you can use crests of the soldier, you can use orbs, you can use a burl, you can use crests, you can use doubloons. These are the items that you can use to craft this amalgamated gemstone. If you're going to buy a stack of three, you will need a crystalline dust. If you're going to buy a stack of 25, then you're going to need five ectoplasms, as you see here, five ectoplasms. So, say for example, you wanted to uh, use an emerald orb to craft the amalgamated gemstone. So we go to emerald orb here. It tells us the buy and sell price, but I'll go over that a little later. We're just going to go ahead and click emerald orb here to see what we need. As you can see here, to make an amalgamated gemstone, to make 10 of them, we we'll need 25 of each and 5 globs of ectoplasm. This is the recipe. To make one of them, we need 3 orbs, 3 stacks of 3, and 1 pile of crystalline dust. So this is exactly what you'll need. This is the item we want to make, an amalgamated gemstone. Now there is a rare chance to make 5 amalgamated gemstones if you go with the top recipe here. There's a small chance you'll make 5 instead of 1. There's also a small chance that you'll make 25 instead of 10 here. So not only are you, are you taking a chance to get more with this recipe, 
but you're also making more money just in general. Now, the only downside is that it's cost you a lot of money to buy these materials. So it is a high investment and it, it's not really fully risky because this item is used by people. But um, you do want to be careful because if you end up making like a hundred of these, then people can undercut you. I wouldn't sit here and make 200, 300 amalgamated gemstones and then put them all in trading posts for the same price. I'd put them up in bulks because it's very easy for someone to undercut you. So uh, just be careful about that. But like I said, if you want to test this method out, just test it out with one amalgamated gemstone first, and then uh, you'll see that it can actually work. So how does GW2 Shinies come into this? Well, what GW2 Shinies does, and we'll use GW2 TP in just a second, what it does is you can categorize, if you want to make one to five, now the five is the rare chance. This is why you're seeing one to five. You're not always going to make five. You're not always going to make 25. So just pay attention to the first number. If you want to make one amalgamated gemstone, here's what it's going to cost. It's going to cost you uh, to buy nine of these. It's going to cost you this amount. To buy nine of the emerald ore, because you'll need nine of them, to buy nine of these, you'll need this. So this is the profit you're making if you buy all the materials you need, if you buy all the stones, if you buy the crystalline dust. This is the profit that you're making. Now, if you want to make 25, or if you want to make 10 with a chance of 25, this is how much it's going to cost. This is the profit you're making. So you can make a lot more money, but you're also using a lot more money by making 25. Uh, I would probably put them on a trading post in bulk, though, maybe five, and then wait till those sell with another five, because I just don't like the idea of putting 25, 30 amalgamated gemstones on there and uh, then a bunch of people undercutting you. So I'd be careful with that only. You can also categorize it by buy price and sell price. However, I would keep this the same. I would keep this at buy price uh, so you can actually buy the materials uh, from the trading post at the lowest, cheapest price and then sell it at a sell price so you can make the most amount of money out of it. If you do want to uh, immediately sell it, you do still make a profit, as you can see. You still make a profit, but you are reducing the amount of profit you make. So you don't need to list them. You can sell them instantly and you still make a profit. Uh, the same way, you can also just buy all the materials straight out the trading post, and you'll still make a profit, but you're decreasing your cost even more. So if you want to buy all the materials right off, if you want to sell it right off, you're still going to make a profit. Uh, but if you want the most amount of profit, then I would definitely go with buy price and sell price here. That way you're getting the most amount of money. It will take a bit of time for you to get the items, actually, for people to, for people to sell you the items that you need, but you'll make the most amount of profit. So we're going to go ahead and try this with uh, emerald orbs, actually. Uh, maybe we'll start with moonstones. Let's try it with moonstones. And uh, we're actually going to try it. We're, we're going to do two things. We're going to try once with, uh, with one, and we're going to try once with 25. So we'll do moonstones uh, crafting at one time, and we'll do emerald orb uh, crafting 25 of them. So buying 75 items in 25 stacks, three of them. So for moonstone orbs, we're going to need nine of these and we'll need one crystalline dust. And be aware, if you already have piles of crystalline dust, you obviously don't need to buy that and you save yourself money and you make even more money in the process. So if you don't, if you have certain materials, use them because you can use them to make the money. Uh, however, most of you probably do have them because crystalline dust is pretty much everywhere in globs of ectoplasm. You can farm for an arc basin. So with a mixture of other gold guides that I've done, you should have tons of ectoplasm, you should have tons of crystalline dust, and you can save yourself some money. So we've verified now that we are making money. Let's go ahead and go in game and let's test this out. So here we are at the trading post. We're gonna go ahead and type in Moonstone Orb. Uh, by the way, Winter's Day has been really profitable. Uh, just completing some of the achievements, you get tons of personalized gifts, and some of these personalized gifts give you, uh, obviously, Winter's Day gift would sell for a lot, the alcohol which sells for a lot, so can really make a lot of money uh, this Winter's Day just by completing some of the achievements. So we're going to go ahead and order nine Moonstone Orbs. I'm not going to buy them instantly because I do want to save some money. So we're going to go ahead and get nine of them. And I'm going to order them for... Let's make this somewhat appealing. Let's bring it up to 30 like that. So 13, 30. We're going to order nine of them. We're going to place our order. And we need one Crystalline Dust. So we're going to be taking the worst case scenario here. Say you don't have any Crystalline Dust. Say you don't have any Ectoplasm. Worst case scenario here. You don't have any of the items, you need to buy all of them. Here's our crystalline dust. We're also going to go ahead and order this as well. Just up it by a few copper and let's order that. And then for our emerald orbs, we're going to go ahead and test that out by buying 75 of them. So here's our emerald orbs. As you see, they're a bit more expensive. 
But we're gonna go ahead and order them so we save ourselves a huge cost. Look at this huge cost we're saving ourselves. So we're gonna go ahead and go over here and we're gonna order 75 of them. And I do wanna get these quickly, so I'm gonna go ahead and up this by 14 silver. I know it's a huge jump, but I do wanna get these quickly, so 14 silver just like that. And we're gonna place our order for 75, and we need five globs of ectoplasm. So here we're gonna place our order as well. Order five of them, and these sell pretty quickly, so I don't need to make a very appealing price here. I can just up it by a few copper and we'll get it instantly anyway. So knowing what sells quickly and knowing what doesn't sell quickly will also help you in this, because you may have to adjust your prices a bit. As you see, we're getting emerald orbs already. Ectoplasm is already in too. Uh, the Moonstone, I probably should have upped a bit too, because Moonstones don't sell super fast. I probably should have uh, upped this by a bit. But we'll keep it like that. We'll see if we get it. So now it's just a waiting game. When you have all the materials, then um, we can go ahead and drop it into Mystic Forge, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we got all of our materials now. Uh, it took a bit, but we got them. And be aware, make note, that we did start this entire process with 49 gold. So now we're going to go ahead and separate our stacks into 25, so 25 emerald ore, another 25 emerald orbs, and we got to separate our moonstone into stacks of 3. To separate, just drag, hold alt, and then buy 3. Alright, so there we go, we have everything. Let's open up our mystic forge. Let's put our... Moonstone and dust in and we get one of these then let's put in our orb and We get ten of these so we have eleven of these so actually I, I just did the math and we so I just did the math and we actually use 13 gold and 20 silvers so now if we go ahead and sell our gemstones We're gonna go ahead and list them obviously and we'll list them for one copper less we're gonna make 16 gold and 40 silver. Now we put that into the calculator here, 1640. As you can see, we're making a profit of 74 silvers. So each time you do this with 11 amalgamated gemstones, if you buy a set of three, three times, and a set of 25, three times, you can make a profit of nearly one gold very easily, 75 silver. Um, so 6% profit, which is very good profit margin uh, percentage. Now be aware, this is with the fact that we had to buy our dust and we had to buy our ectoplasm. If we didn't have to buy our ectoplasm, if we didn't have to buy our dust, and the, the, the average player has this, the average player has 5 ectoplasm, the average player does have the dust, so all you need to buy is the orbs or the gem, or, or the, uh, all you need to buy is the orbs or the crests or the different stones. That will save you, that will save you about a gold and 50 silver. So, you'd actually be making something along the lines of nearly two gold. So, you can make a lot of profit out of this if you have the ectoplasm and the dust already. And if you have certain stones laying around, certain some of these gems laying around in your bank, and you're not using them, you may as well put them to use, and you may as well drop them into the Mystic Forge here to sell, to create amalgamated gemstones and then sell them. So, like I said, worst case scenario, you have to buy everything, you're still making a profit. But if you have the dust and the ectoplasm, you're making even more of a profit. And the last thing I want to share is that be aware that these are constantly changing. As you can see now, this orb has given us more profit than the emerald orb has. So, this list is constantly changing. Um, you can pick any of these, and you can buy any of these, and you can basically create an amalgamated gemstone with any of these things. Some of these give you more profit, some of these give you less profit. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over today. If you enjoyed the video, if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like at the bottom. If you found it helpful, leave a like. You can also subscribe to the channel. Plenty of other gold guides on the channel, so I'd highly recommend you subscribe. We have a whole playlist of gold guides that you can check out. And if you'd like to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so. Link is in the top of the screen, top right corner. There's a card you can press in or bring you to the page. I also have a vlogging channel, tutorials channel, music channel, and advice channel. If you want to check that out, links are in the description as well as on the end screen. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, this is GSMan. Alright, I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.